The rear wing is one of the vital components of a Formula One car, as slight deformation in the rear wing can cost an entire race. The rear wing has a greater role to play as a huge load of air flows over the car directed towards the rear wing. On the other hand, DRS is activated with the rear wing which is very important in overtaking at straight lines of the track. So each and every Formula One team gave huge attention to the development of the rear wing, as it is an important title-winning factor. With the new regulation changes that were introduced back in 2022, the existing structure of the rear wing was completely changed. Through this video, we're going to discuss the way that teams have adopted the new generation of rear wings. Before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. Under the new structure of the rear wing, the upper section of the end plate was removed and a contoured transition has been introduced to join with the main plate and upper flap. With that shape of the rear wing is totally changed. The beam wing, which was banned in 2014, has returned back and it helps the diffuser and upper wing by creating a turning moment in the airflow at the back of the car. The intention of maintaining the airflow in such a way is to get the turbulence as high up as possible to remove its effect on cars following behind. In addition, the corners of the end plate have been reduced by a specified amount to avoid the sharp corners that can generate vortex. With the changes that have been done to the rear wing, the total downforce created by the new car is slightly lower than the 2021 Challengers. Designers are still curious about the behavior of the new rear wing design as they are still searching for the right balance between the downforce that generates and the downside of the drag being created. In the initial design, it was expected to give more leniency in the transition region through a spoon-shaped main plane design. However, when the season unfolded, teams came up with innovative ideas to get the maximum out of the rear wing. Red Bull was relatively inactive compared to its rivals in terms of the development of the rear wing. However, in the close observation of video footage and pictures on the race day, they came with slight changes to the rear wing depending on the circuit conditions. Their main changes were done to the rear beam wing arrangement. Ferrari also used a similar method when they changed the rear wing arrangement depending on the downforce level requirement of the circuit. But the specialty of Ferrari is that their rear wing configuration changed also depending on the driver as well. This change was clearly observed during last year's Canadian GP. Carlos Sainz went for an option which provided higher downforce to the car. However, in the same race, Charles Leclerc had a much different rear wing that focused heavily on upper wing elements and the beam wing. Mercedes was the team with the biggest aerodynamic issues and the process to find a solution for poor poising, they had to make several changes to the initial configuration in their chassis components. They went for an upturned leading edge in the central portion of the wing and a more tightly wound transition to the end plate. But within a few races, Mercedes engineers understood that the rear wing was not providing the performance that they expected and trimmed the upper flap to a certain extent. However, they went for a low downforce design during the Miami GP. In this design, they ditched the main plane's leading edge upturn and also loosened the transition of the end plate too. By trimming the upper flap and using a gurney, they tried to balance the car when needed. With the intention of turning the downforce and drag based on demand, the Brackley-based squad used interchangeable panels in the rear wing. Alfa Romeo's design was quite different as the tip section of the rear wing came with a cutout to achieve the drag and downforce under a targeted level. However, for the base section of the rear wing, Alfa Romeo went for a more traditional design. Among the 10 different rear wings used by the F1 teams in the previous season, most unique design was on the rear end of the Aston Martin car. Aston Martin was at the bottom of the standings and no one was confident about their design because of that. So rivals didn't want to copy it, despite its unique nature. In Monza, they went for the extreme end of their design by using an end plate with a twisted version of the spoon-shaped design. However, it was somewhat challenging to the 2022 regulations and FIA banned the use of rear wing variants like Aston Martin. Teams had slight aerodynamic issues even in the latter part of the 2022 season, which was unsolved. So, we feel that teams didn't deal with the new aerodynamic regulations very well and hope for more upgrades in the upcoming season. So, we can expect changes to the rear wing to a certain extent as well. Who had the best rear wing in the previous season? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to get more exciting Formula 1 news. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.